I am a cyber analyst at uh, Intech, and one of the things that takes the most time I have found is the actual going through and collecting the tons and tons of different logs. Um, all right, let's share here. Uh, so it's kind of my baby. Um, ignore this left side over here that's still a work in progress. Um, essentially what, what we'll have happen uh, is you'll have an option to um, select what logs you want to collect, um, uh, whether they're single logs for single users, logs for all users, uh, and then we'll follow the workflow from there. Uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, grabbing the single user, we'll grab the actual user out of the graph API, uh, and then we'll go and into our sub workflow to actually pull the logs. We use some time formatting, which is a nightmare um, to figure out if you want to pull it for the last seven days, the last 24 hours, last 30 days. Um, ultimately, it's going to be whatever you want to do. Uh, and then we'll make our actual graph API request here. Uh, and then we'll go into another sub workflow that will manage uh, CSV creation. And it'll create the CSV from the dictionary input uh, and then create a webhook with that CSV as the payload. Uh, one of the challenges that I didn't expect to face was getting this webhook URL all the way out to the parent workflow. Um, and for anybody out there that hasn't really used sub workflows, this is the first time I ever used one. Um, it's it's easier than you think. Uh, you just output the variable from each sub workflow all the way up, uh, and that's since that's the only variable that I really care about getting. Um, each one just outputs that same variable all the way back up, uh, and then we'll pull our group membership data from this and you'll see it looks very similar. We are we're making the graph API call. We got some failure checks in here uh, that send the user who ran it an email if they are unsuccessful on the API call. Uh, we have the exact same CSV creation sub workflow running again here. Uh, and once again, it pulls all that log data back up and then uh, we got some email handling and sending out the, the CSVs. So how does this look to your technicians? Uh, do they? Yeah. Uh, they don't have access to it right now. Uh, here's my pages. Um, but when they have access to it, It will look exactly like this. Sorry, that's another workflow I was working on. So yeah, you can select which tenant you want um, to run it on. That pulls your tenants directly from uh, your integration with CSP. And then you can select either single user or entire tenant. Uh, the entire tenant's the left side. I'm still debating whether I want to do that, how user or how, how much that's going to be needed uh, from a single kind of incident standpoint. You know, sometimes we want the entire tenant information. Other times that's just too much data. Uh, so then this will populate based on our dev environment here. Uh, this will populate based on the organization you select. And then you've got a free type area for any emails that you want to send that to. So I'll select myself. You can run this real quick. It, and it only takes about 20 or 30 seconds. Um, and then you get a really handy email uh, over <clears throat> coming at you. Oh, 
while this is running, any other questions? Uh, that's pretty awesome. There is going to be some overlap with that compromise user crate that we're working on. Um, I'd love to hear what logs and everything you're pulling, what what information is relevant. If you don't mind popping in the compromise user uh, crate form thing in that crates RS channel in Discord and letting us know yeah. what the, what endpoint you're hitting, that'd be awesome because I we, I'm going to be shipping this first version like pretty soon. It's in code review right now. It should be out to the people to test with. Um, but yeah, I'm always curious like what logs, what things you guys are finding valuable. So that's awesome. Good job. Sure. Sure. Right now we're just pulling the sign-in logs and group membership logs. Um, I had, when I first created, it was only sign-in logs. Uh, there was no sub workflows. I ran into some challenge trying to get the best way to link multiple uh, reports. Um, so I spent a lot of time trying to figure that out and then building out the uh, various sub workflows. So the whole idea now is as soon as I discover what endpoint I want to query for uh, the information, it should take me about five minutes to add to the workflow. Uh, 